Have you ever pondered over Mary Magdalene's role in the life of Jesus? Let's delve into the mysteries and enigmas that surround this intriguing character from the annals of religious history. Mary Magdalene, a figure of faith and fascination, was one of the earliest followers of Jesus of Nazareth. She was not merely a bystander in his life, but an integral part of his journey walking side by side with him through the dusty roads of ancient Judea. Her devotion was not just limited to words or prayers, but was displayed in her actions as she followed Jesus, sharing in his trials and tribulations. She was a constant fixture in Jesus' life, her presence a testament to her unwavering faith. From the humble beginnings of his ministry to the heart-wrenching scene of the crucifixion, Mary Magdalene was there. She stood by him, sharing in his sorrow, his pain, and his ultimate sacrifice. But her story doesn't end at the foot of the cross. Mary Magdalene's journey continued even after Jesus' death, as she became one of the first witnesses to his resurrection. Visiting his tomb, she discovered it empty, a revelation that would change the course of history forever. Yet despite her prominent role, her character is shrouded in mystery and conjecture. She has been portrayed in various lights, a devoted follower, a repentant sinner, a misunderstood woman, and even a possible companion or wife to Jesus. These portrayals, sometimes contradicting, have led to numerous debates and discussions among scholars and theologists, adding to the enigma that is Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, a complex character shrouded in mystery and speculation, has a significant role in the life of Jesus. Her story, often overshadowed by controversy and conjecture, is one that deserves to be explored. It is a tale of faith, devotion, and an undying love for a man who changed the world. As we delve deeper into her life and legacy, let's unravel the mysteries that surround Mary Magdalene, one of the most enigmatic figures in religious history. Mary Magdalene was not a mere follower, but a close companion of Jesus. She was a constant presence in his life, traveling with him, witnessing his teachings and miracles, and standing by him in his most challenging moments. Her relationship with Jesus was one of deep spiritual connection and unwavering faith. One of the most compelling instances of Mary's closeness with Jesus is her role in the events surrounding his resurrection. After Jesus' crucifixion, it was Mary Magdalene who visited his tomb, only to find it empty. Imagine the shock, the confusion, and then the dawning realization. The man she had followed so devotedly, who she believed to be the Messiah, had risen from the dead, just as he had promised. But her understanding did not come easily. When she first saw the empty tomb, she wept, thinking someone had taken away Jesus' body. It was only when Jesus himself appeared to her, addressing her by name, that she recognized him. In this poignant moment, Jesus chose Mary Magdalene to be the first to witness his resurrection, the first to know of his triumph over death. This demonstrates not only her closeness to Jesus, but also the high regard in which he held her. Mary Magdalene's relationship with Jesus was not typical of a disciple. She was not one of the twelve apostles, yet she was privy to some of the most significant events in Jesus' life. Her unwavering faith and dedication set her apart. She was a woman in a society that often sidelined women, yet she was at the center of one of the most critical events in Christian history. Her intimate role in Jesus' life sets her apart from many other followers. She was not just a follower, she was a confidant, a witness, and a key player in the narrative of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Mary Magdalene, the intimate follower, holds a place of honor in the story of Jesus, a testament to her unique relationship with the one she followed with such devotion. Mary Magdalene, a figure of immense strength, stood by Jesus during the most challenging times. This steadfast follower of Jesus, a woman of substantial courage, was present during the heart-wrenching events of the crucifixion. As the skies darkened and a hush fell over the crowd, Mary Magdalene stood firm, bearing witness to a scene that would forever be etched into the annals of history. Her unwavering presence during such a time of despair speaks volumes about her devotion and commitment to Jesus. Her strength unyielding amidst the tumult serves as a testament to her extraordinary character. 
But her role in this pivotal saga didn't end with the crucifixion. In the hushed stillness of the dawn, Mary Magdalene visited Jesus' tomb only to find it vacant. Imagine the whirlwind of emotion she must have felt, shock, confusion, and perhaps a glimmer of hope. Her discovery of the empty tomb marked a turning point, a moment that signaled the start of a new chapter in this divine narrative. The resurrection, a cornerstone of Christian belief, was first witnessed by Mary Magdalene. Her encounter with the risen Christ, her recognition of his familiar voice, and her subsequent proclamation of his resurrection to the other disciples underlines her critical role during these transformative events. Mary Magdalene's role was not that of a passive observer, but of an active participant, a woman who stood by her convictions and played a key part in the unfolding of these monumental events. The portrayal of Mary Magdalene has been the subject of intense debate and controversy. An understatement, perhaps, considering the profound disagreement on her character and role within the early church, it is a controversy that has spanned centuries, and it begins with a narrative that sought to minimize her influence. In the early days of the church, Mary Magdalene was depicted as a prostitute, a narrative that some say was crafted to undermine her significance. The implications are profound. By painting her as a woman of ill repute, her role as a close disciple, a witness to the crucifixion and resurrection, was somehow lessened, her influence dampened. This portrayal, controversial as it may be, was widely accepted for many years. But this is not the only narrative that has been spun about Mary Magdalene. Some theories go in a completely different direction, suggesting that she was not just a follower of Jesus, but his wife, or at the very least, a close companion. These theories present a radically different image of Mary, elevating her status from a repentant sinner to a central figure in Jesus' life. These theories, while captivating, are not supported by biblical texts. They are conjecture, speculation driven by a desire to understand the enigmatic figure that is Mary Magdalene but they also reflect a struggle within the church and society at large, a struggle to reconcile the role of women in religious narratives. Despite these controversies, one thing is clear. Mary Magdalene played a significant role in Jesus' life and his ministry. Whether she was a repentant sinner or a close companion, her presence at the crucifixion and the resurrection is undeniable. Her role in the early church as a witness and a disciple is irrefutable. Despite the controversy and speculation, Mary Magdalene's sanctity is recognized by several Christian denominations. This recognition is not a simple nod to her faith, but a testament to her unwavering devotion and pivotal role in one of history's most influential narratives. Mary Magdalene, often cloaked in mystery and marred by controversy, is a beacon of faith. Her journey with Jesus of Nazareth, witnessing his crucifixion, and being one of the first to discover his resurrection, etched her name in the annals of spiritual history. Her dedication, her belief, her strength in the face of profound sorrow and joy are all qualities that echo the essence of sainthood. But what exactly does it mean for Mary Magdalene to be recognized as a saint? In many Christian denominations, sainthood is a declaration of exceptional holiness. It is a recognition of a life lived in such a way that it becomes a guiding light for others on their spiritual journey. It is to say that Mary Magdalene's life, her actions and her faith are worthy of reverence and emulation. In the Eastern Orthodox, Anglican and Roman Catholic churches, among others, Mary Magdalene is venerated as a saint. She is more than the woman at the crucifixion and the empty tomb. She is a symbol of unwavering faith, a testament to the transformative power of belief and an example of spiritual resilience. Her story, while steeped in controversy, is ultimately one of hope and redemption. It is important to note that the title of saint does not erase the complexity of Mary Magdalene's narrative. It does not simplify her into a one-dimensional figure. Instead, it adds a layer of reverence to her multifaceted character, acknowledging her spiritual significance while recognizing the myriad parts that make up her story. Mary Magdalene, a saint, a follower, a woman of faith, continues to inspire and intrigue us with her story. This woman, whose life has been the subject of speculation and debate, remains a powerful symbol of faith and resilience. Her sainthood serves as an enduring testament to her spiritual significance, 
a reminder of her role in one of humanity's most influential narratives. Mary Magdalene's legacy transcends time and continues to be a subject of fascination. A woman of unwavering faith, she stands as an emblem of devotion, a testament to the power of belief. Her story, woven through the narrative of one of the most influential figures in history, Jesus of Nazareth, is brimming with courage, dedication and resilience. Her story has been the source of countless works of art, literature and scholarly discourse. She is celebrated as a saint by several Christian denominations, a testament to her enduring impact. Her legacy is one of faith and fortitude, a narrative that has stood the test of centuries. It serves as a reminder of the significant roles women have played and continue to play in religious narratives and spiritual movements.